A minivan is the best vehicle out there for families, yet it's the one that they often shy away from because there's some deep-seated fear about owning a minivan. But Kia has found a workaround, turn it into a sleek SUV. They pulled it off too. Meet the 2022 Kia Carnival. It's not full minivan and it's not full SUV. It's a blend of both and it works shockingly well. You have minivan style sliding doors for rear passengers. That's important for families with entry and exit and access to the third row. The nose though is all SUV and we also love the treatment on the taillights. As for wheels, you can choose between 17 inches or a set of 19s. Plus there's a faux rear skid plate to complete the SUV-esque look. Also, check out the great new Kia logo. This is an improvement for sure. On the inside, you can choose between a seven or eight passenger setup. That means either a second row bench or a set of captain's chairs. Additionally, the top spec SX Prestige even adds power adjustable reclining captain's chairs with footrests and special headrests. We should note that these special chairs are not removable, unlike the other seating setups. The rest of the cabin is very well done too. Up front, you'll find a standard 8-inch touchscreen. There's a larger 12.3-inch screen available, though that ties in with the digital gauge cluster as a sort of dual display, similar to what Mercedes is doing right now. You have dual screens in the back that can mirror your phones, an available intercom system, power sliding doors, and a camera that lets you see what's going on back there. As for power, the Carnival uses a 3.5 liter V6 engine. It's making 290 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque, and it's paired with an 8-speed automatic. It is front-wheel drive only. As for now, there's no talk of a hybrid model or an all-wheel drive version, at least not yet. So sitting in the driver's seat right away, it feels like an SUV up front, and that's probably going to be a good thing for a lot of buyers who are first-time minivan owners. And this is still a minivan, it just happens to be one with quite a bit more style on the outside. But the driving experience is great. There's tons of room and comfort and tech and features in the back to keep everyone happy. The driver will remain happy because it's not boring behind the wheel. You can shift it yourself by grabbing the shift lever and sliding it over. There's a plus and minus, you know, move that eight speed around a bit, which you don't really need to do. It's not, you know, super aggressive and it doesn't need to be. You have driving modes, normal, eco, sport, and smart. Smart blends a bit between eco and sport. I just put it back into normal because it doesn't need to hold gears. It's nice that it can do that stuff. The ability to shift it yourself a bit would be nice on the highway. Uh, if you needed a little extra oomph for passing or if you were going up and down some serious grades. But steering feel with the electronically tuned power steering works fine. The front wheel drive setup is fine for something like this. And then just the fit, finish, the style on the inside is wonderful. This is a good place to be. Why am I saying these things about a minivan? This is blowing my mind. Even though all modern minivans in this segment are good, this is probably the best one though. If you don't need all wheel drive, if you don't need the hybrid version, barring those things, because Chrysler and Toyota have those areas on lock at the moment. Taking those out of the equation, the Kia Carnival is pretty darn good. The different gauge clusters, it changes when you change the driving modes. They're crisp and easy to read on this digital display. Everything is within easy reach on this large dual screen setup. And then I would imagine the eight screen inch is just right here as well. So it should be equally as easy. It's just a little bit nicer on the big screen. When you turn on the turn signal, a camera operates so you can check your blind spot right here in the large display as well. But as a cruiser, as a family hauler, as a people mover, this is really competitive. Let's talk price. The Carnival is offered in four trims, the LX, the EX, the SX, and the SX Prestige. The base price is $33,275 for the LX. The SX Prestige starts at $47,275, but it's basically a luxury van and worth the dough if you want a top tier experience. The base model gets the 17s while the rest get the 19 inch wheels. 
LED headlights are standard on all models, as are LED daytime running lights, acoustic front glass, and power adjustable and heated side mirrors. A trailer hitch is an option, and the Carnival is rated to tow 3,500 pounds. All versions are nicely equipped, but the SX Prestige gets all the fanciest goodies. Either way, no matter which way you slice it, the Kia Carnival has arrived to shake up the minivan segment, and it could find some SUV converts along the way. Wait, it's pronounced Carnival? Whoops. Carnival sounds way cooler. 